Hello, Carolyn. Who do I see back there? Let me look. Oh my goodness, look at all these friends we have. This is so great. I'm so glad y'all could join me on such a rainy day for a story. We have a good one today. Are y'all having a good day? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. Did you get wet in the rain? No. No. Oh, I'm so glad you did it. Oh, here comes another one. Hello. Oh, I see Samantha. Now, Carolyn, tell me how old everybody is here. This is this is Selena, and she's four years old. Oh. And this is Lucia, and she's six years old. What pretty names you have. And Selena, Lucia, and this is Samantha. All your names end in A. Ah. How about that? Today, we are going to read a great book for a rainy day. Look at the light bulb on the front. Do you ever, do you know that sometimes people use light bulbs when they have an idea? Like if you see a cartoon and there's a light bulb over their head, it means boing, they have an idea. I bet you have lots of good ideas. French here, honey? Yes. I know you have good ideas. Okay, thank you. Raise your hand if you went to school today. Thank you. At home. Okay, Samantha had the day off. Did Lucia and Serena have the day off from school? No, um, Selena goes to pre-K and she goes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. And Lucia went to school today. All right. We both see now. Yes. Yay. Good, good, good. Well, we are going to wait and start our book in about one more minute because we might have some more friends. But let's talk for a minute. Um, has anybody had any good ideas lately? Can you think of a good idea? Hmm. I had a good idea yesterday. My idea was I saw our basil plant and it was not looking very good and the leaves looked like they were about to not be good anymore. And I picked them all and I made something for dinner with it. That was a very good idea. I had a good idea. I, I borrowed an umbrella when I went out today because yes, it was raining. Is a very good idea. Oh my goodness. Samantha, have you had any good ideas today? No? Well, coming to story time was a good idea. Yeah, I think so. All right, y'all, it is 5.01. So why don't we start our story? And if anybody else comes, we'll just keep right on going. And then we'll talk about it at the end. Now, some we're going to do a different book every week, OK? Some books are going to be funny and some books are going to rhyme and some books are not going to rhyme but they're all going to be beautifully illustrated and this is a good one to start with because you know all the stories are going to be about kindness today is about how god created all of us to love each other and to be kind to each other even though we are all very very different okay so it's called God's Very Good Idea. And down at the bottom, it says a true story about God's delightfully different family. So guess who's in God's delightfully different family? Yeah. We are. We all are. Yay. Okay. Let me see here. I'm going to hold this up where you can see the pictures. And I, hopefully can still read it. Let me get situated here. Yeah, this takes a little gymnastics. Here we go. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had a very good idea. There's that light bulb again. All right, let's see what it was. It was an even 
better idea than solar panels, which were invented in 1954. It was better than chocolate chip cookies, which were invented in 1938. It was better than a super soaker water sprayer. That was invented in 1982. It was better than a color TV, which was invented in 1942. Y'all, these most of these were before I was born, but not all of them. <laughs> uh, it, it, his idea was better than fireworks. I think they were invented in China before Jesus was even born. And then the life raft was invented in 1880. And roller skates were invented in 1760. That guy looks like he should be in Hamilton, right? And then x-rays. God's idea was better than x-rays. And x-rays are awesome. And they were invented in 1895. So God's idea was better than all those really great ideas. So God's idea was to make people lots of people, lots of different people who would all enjoy loving God and who would all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in God's image and they would all be like mirrors reflecting what God is like because God is full of love. They would be full of love too. Did you know that we're like a mirror for God? We don't look like God because we don't even know what God looks like. But God made us to act like God acts. That was the plan anyway. All right. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. So there is a man up there in the tree talking to the birds and where's oh, there's a woman hugging a lion. Any idea what their names might have been? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Say your name. Say it, honey. What? Right. Say it. Say what? Who it is? Adam and Eve. Yes, Adam and Eve. So I think they're being a little bit funny here because I don't know. I mean, Adam might have climbed a tree and talked to the birds, but it's just kind of fun to think about what they would have done. So God said, be happy. Enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and that will look after the earth and that will enjoy the earth. Hmm. Wonder if that worked out. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we're going to skip Adam and Eve for a minute and we're going to go back to God's plan. So God's plan was to create people that were made in God's image and all of them were different too. Some were men, some were women, some liked reading, some liked riding bicycles, some had darker skin, and some had lighter skin. And some had curly hair, and some had straight hair. So that was God's plan. We all live in God's world. We are all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak differently or play differently, but they are all made in God's image. So they are all very valuable. Did you know that you are very valuable? Does that mean you cost a lot of money? You're worth a lot to God. You're precious. That's what that means. There's nobody like you. But now here comes a little bit of a sad part, okay? See, these pages are darker. Okay, but some people ruined God's very good idea. And it goes back to the Adam and Eve. Remember that? The first people 
chose not to always love God. And because they chose not to love God, they forgot to love each other as they should. We are the same. Sometimes, even though we try really, 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 really hard, we choose not to love God. So then we're not able to love each other like we should. Sometimes people fight with each other and are mean to each other. And sometimes people laugh at each other. And that's not the way God created people, is it? That was not in the good idea, but there's good news coming. So don't worry. Now, we need God's forgiveness for ruining God's very good idea. And God forgives us. God forgives people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. God forgives people with darker skin and lighter skin. And God forgives people with curly hair and straight hair. God was not surprised that people ruined things. He had always had a good plan to rescue his very good idea. What do you think the good plan to rescue the idea was? Uh-oh, I need to admit. Hi, Asher. Asher's coming in. Where's Asher? There's Asher. I'm sorry. I hope you haven't been in the waiting room too long. <laughs> you no, we just were a little late and trying oh. to get on. So sorry, we'll go on mute. Enjoy That's the story. Okay, y'all um we're just talking about god's very good idea when god created people to be loving and kind but then they kind of messed up didn't they yeah but god had a rescue plan and what do you think the rescue plan was what do you think lucia what do you think it was so we yeah. love each other. Yes, it was it was somebody that God sent to teach us how to love each other. You're right. Who was that little baby? God. Yes, God. Yeah. God came to earth as a person. Jesus. So a little tiny baby. And then if you look. Here we see Jesus and John the Baptist, and here on top of the mountain, over all these loaves and fishes, we see Jesus up at the top, probably teaching everybody. So that was God's rescue plan. And it was a good rescue plan because Jesus loved people who were different from him. He loved people that nobody else loved. See, in this picture, he's healing her, and he says, your faith has made you well. And then in this picture, Jesus is healing a blind man, and the blind man says, I can see. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. Oh dear, now we get to a sad page again, but don't worry, it's just one sad page and then good pages. But some people, as we know, did not love Jesus. They put him on a cross to die, but that was also part of God's plan. So on the cross, Jesus took our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus did not stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the people they know. We call that the Holy Spirit, right? And Jesus helps us to love each other. Look, it looks like this person is helping that person cross the street. And it looks like this little girl is helping her mom do the dishes. And it looks like this big girl is helping that little baby get a teddy bear way up high. Okay, now I love this picture. Isn't that fun? 
one day God will finish God's very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who would like to live there with their different languages and skin colors will be together and enjoy loving God and loving each other. Now that is a happy page, right? But here's a very, very, very good part of God's very good idea. You don't have to wait until then to enjoy it because Jesus welcomes all of us. And when Jesus welcomes all of us, he welcomes us into his family forever. So he welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and lighter skin and medium skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and straight hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters. You're wonderful and colorful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying him and loving him and loving each other. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of God's very good idea right now. You can enjoy it today. Isn't that fun? I love the beautiful pictures in that book. And you know, I think it's a good thing to think about right now because it's good to remember that we have a bigger family. I know we all have great families at our houses, but you know, some of these days seem kind of long and lonely when we can't go all the places we used to get to go, right? So remember that you have a big church family. Did you know that I am your sister? Did you know that? Isn't that weird? And y'all are my sisters and brothers. I love that. So, um, does anybody, Asher, do you want to turn on your microphone? Everybody can turn on their microphone if they want. Does anybody have any questions about any of those pages? Okay, yes, yeah, Samantha. When was that book made? When was it made? I think it was just made. Um, let me check. I think it was just made in the last year, but let me check. Yes, um, it has been reprinted four times because they sold so many of them. But um, first in 19, I'm mean, sorry, <laughs> 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. <laughs> so it's pretty current. Why won't they social distancing in the last one, in the last picture? Social distancing, yeah, I don't think they knew about that then. <laughs> And they're not wearing masks either. But they sure are having a good time. Do you think the Great Hall at St. Luke's might look like that when we finally get to go back? There's a guy playing a drum. I think I know where I could get my hands on a drum. Let's see, they're eating some good food. We could um, all bring something or maybe Quentin would cook us something. And this person's in a wheelchair and we have people in wheelchairs at our church, right? Now there's a dog. We sometimes have dogs in our church, but I doubt in the great hall at dinner, we would have a dog. But you know what? We might be so happy. You would just never know. That would be a fun thing. All right, anybody else? Did you have any questions about the sad pages? No, I think we all knew about Adam and Eve and all that. Yes, Samantha, did you have one? Um. Why was, like, the clouds gray when they were, like, mad? Was it just a rainy day? Or I think the artist who illustrated the book just decided to use those dark colors because it was kind of a sad part of the story. And then when things got happy again, they used really bright, cheerful colors. Yeah, because nobody really likes to think about being mean to each other, right? But it happens. Have you ever seen somebody be mean to somebody? Yeah. yeah. 
it happens but you know what we can ask for forgiveness and we can forgive just like god just like god forgives us we can forgive other people so that's probably part of god's very good idea too anything else you noticed about the book Hmm. I noticed, I noticed in the end they were all happy. Yes, they were. They were all happy. I think if I had written that book, I would have maybe, I think I would have put Adam and Eve in sooner because I got confused when I was reading it the first time because, you know, God made all the people in the world and then they backed up to Adam and Eve. That confused me a little bit, but eh, that's okay. It was a really good book. Hmm. Have you ever wanted to write a book, anybody? I, I bet a lot of you could write some really good books. Have you wanted to, Selena? Yeah. I, I wrote my own book. <gasps> you did? Oh, I'd love to see it sometime. If you come back to story time, you can show it to me, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, what about you, Asher? Rowan loves re writing books. Oh, I think some people do. Would you rather draw the pictures? Would you rather draw the pictures? Mm. <laughs> you are all good artists. I know you could. Well, next week, we are going to read a really funny book. It's called The Rock That Could Not Roll. It's very funny, and it rhymes, and it's about a rock that was not round enough to play with his friends. And it's about how his friends treated him and how he finally figured out how to be happy even though he couldn't roll. So next week, The Rock That Could Not Roll. Same time, same place. Sounds like fun. It is so good to see y'all. Oh my gosh, this just makes my rainy day so much better. My dad and mom go to my better city. They did what? Go to my better city. Oh, they did? Wow, that sounds like fun. Is Hayes squeezed in there, Rowan? There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's hard for you all to squeeze in, right? But I'm so glad you did. That just make, makes me so happy. All right, friends. You know what? I had fun at story time. Now I have to go to another meeting that's not a story time. So I have another Zoom call, and I think our time is about to run out. But this was so great, and I really hope that you can come again next week. All right, five o'clock. Thank you so much. It was very enjoyable. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Catherine Ann. We appreciate it. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. Bye.